But at the same time, if you're not doing anything, I don't know if tomorrow will be any better than today. Are you listening? If you don't begin to do something about the word and you don't begin to do what Jesus said, he said, ask, seek, and knock, and to hunger and thirst after righteousness and to seek that, if you don't begin to do some of these things, tomorrow may never be any brighter for you. I, I'm not trying to put a damper on you. I'm just saying the truth. If you live the same way all the time and never, never point towards God or never head that direction, it may not get any better for you. Are you hearing? So somewhere you're going to have to do something that you've not been doing. Now, there have been a lot of people, they think, well, the way I'm going to get healed, I'll just call everybody that I can call. I'll turn my prayer request in. I'll call this one. I'll go to whatever, a number of things. But look, they're going to come a time where you're going to have to get in the Word and you're going to have to soak in this and let this scriptures about healing get on the inside of you. And if you don't, you may, you may remain there. I'm not trying to put a damper on you, but I'm just telling you. If you hunger and thirst after righteousness, you, uh, Jesus said you shall be filled. Praise the Lord. Now you take that woman with the issue of blood. She didn't sit there. Now she'd been going through a whole lot. And matter of fact, he said that she'd been that way for 12 years. She'd spent every bit of her money on the doctors, and she hadn't got any better. Matter of fact, she grew worse. And that's, you know, that's a sign. If you've been that way for 12 years and you spend every bit of the money you had going to seeing doctors, and then you got worse. But now when she heard something, when she heard of Jesus, then she, she decided to do something. And that decision that she made began that day to bring her out of the situation she was in. So you can't just sit there. You can't just sit there and hope, well, maybe tomorrow will be better than today. It may not be if you don't do something. Praise the Lord. Can, can you see that? Hmm? Just don't, don't, don't stay the same. You're going to have to do something you've not been doing. Amen. Praise the Lord. You'll have to do something you've not been doing. If what you're doing isn't working, that's because you're not... You're not doing something right. Ain't that right? I said, ain't that right? Everybody say amen. Give me a big old amen this morning. Amen. Every one of you. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, praise you, Lord. So, we'll have to do what God is saying to do if we want a different result than what we've been having. If you need healing, get in the Word of God. Get to the right place. If you're sick and you needed a doctor, you'd go. You wouldn't sit there at the house and say, well, you know, maybe hit up, maybe I'll get better. Not if you need a doctor. You need to go to the doctor, don't you? Huh? Or a lawyer. You don't say, well, I need a lawyer, but I'll sit here and maybe, maybe I'll have one. What, anybody knows better than that. You'll go find one. Whatever the case may be, you'll go do it. But when it comes to God, it's just like people just sit there and they say, well, maybe tomorrow will be better than today. Well, no, it may not if you don't do something different. Praise the Lord. Amen. So here, let's go back over here to Ephesians 3. And I'm, let me read you this. Ephesians 3, 16. Let me read it from God's Word translation. It says, I'm asking God, verse 16, I'm asking God to give you a gift from the wealth of His glory. I pray that he would give you inner strength and power through his spirit. And he's talking about the Holy Spirit. Now the fact that Paul's praying this also means they don't have it. They need it. So when Christ, then Christ will live in you through faith, I also pray 
that love may be the ground into which you sink your roots on. Now listen to that. I pray that that love may be the ground into which you sink your roots on and which you have your foundation. This way, with all of God's people, you'll be able, you will be able to understand. Now, listen to that. You sink your roots in love, the love of God. And this is what's going to make you able or qualify you to receive that inner strength from God. And over here, when Paul heard of their, their faith and their love, he said, then he began to pray for them because that qualifies you now to begin to receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation. In, amen. In the word of God.